Story Boulevard on Yellowstone Road. We're going to get moving here in a minute. Our first spot that we're checking out is this uh, Stag Convenience Corner. They fully demolished the building since I filmed it about three months or so ago. Uh, back when it was just starting to get into like 50 degree weather here in Cheyenne. Uh, we're going to be going out south. Uh, you'll be able to see where we're going here soon. I got to get this thing situated. I'm glad I brought my laptop today because... There we go. I'm glad I brought my laptop today because I can actually uh, take care of some stuff real quick. So I'm going to make the this stream public and get rid of the other stream. So the app, to answer your question, uh, Standby News, uh, what app was I using? I was trying to use the same one as last time that worked just fine. It's called the, it's the one that I mentioned. It's called Prism Live. It's a pretty good app for what it is. It does way better than YouTube ever will. Unfortunately, it has issues with connecting to streams sometimes. And this time, even though I did a complete reinstall of the application, uh, it didn't happen. Like it still was bugging out. So we're using YouTube Live today. Uh, it'll get the job done. It's just too bad because the quality is not going to be as good at certain points in the stream since we are going to be going into areas where the internet connection is terrible for me. Uh, it just started snowing a little bit, which is pretty funny. <laughs> I got to admit. Uh, give me a minute. I got to go to youtube.com and take care of these streams and then we'll get going. Um, Something I probably could do is get some music rolling, maybe, maybe. Uh, something we might try here in a few. Uh, let's see. I need to go to studio. So glad I brought my laptop. So glad. Come on, studio. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. I saw Joshua in here. Uh, let's see, live chat. I saw Joshua Tyler standby news. Hopefully you guys are all having a good day. I won't be able to constantly reach chat because I got the phone situated right here to my right. So like you guys are in the passenger seat, I'm in the driver's seat and play. Yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So, okay, let's do this real quick. So I need to change this one to public, publish. And this one we're gonna make private because we don't need that now. Well, we'll make it unlisted because we don't want people to freak out if they do go to that link. We'll make it unlisted. And I'm gonna go to the live chat of that one real quick and just put a pinned message that we're over here. At the backup link. Live at the backup link. There we go. Replace pinned message. And I'm going to spam it a little bit in the chat. Just so that way if anyone does go there, they have it. There. And we'll do one more thing and put it in the description. Okay, I might have to cut out some of this intro just to make it a little bit sweeter for those of you that are watching the replay. Uh, but as for everyone else, we'll go from here. Uh, we're going to be working our way south of town today and go from there. Let me get my laptop taken care of real quick and we'll be on our way. Hey, Mr. Cruise Fever. Hey, Casey Grimm. Sharks 411, how are you doing, dude? Uh, <laughs> cheers, uh, Joshua. <laughs> I'm not going to say too much. I mean, really, if you freaking want to, yeah, I don't need to go into it, but you probably can figure out what freaking car I'm in if just by the inside stuff. But uh, I'm not going to go into that too much. But bottom line, it is a smaller car, so can't go on the interstates. Not a good idea. I mean, this thing was rattling going 40 miles an hour on a windy road. <laughs> All right, let's see. Go ahead and get this thing kicking. Um, yeah, we should be good. I got my mic right here. Uh, let's see. Chat scrolled down on me. So I was just going through my mobile hotspot. I can just use my mobile hotspot to do.
that stuff. Uh, it's good making music and living life. I like it. Hey, Daniel L is supposed to start too. So no, this was actually supposed to start at three. Maybe it came out as, I don't know what happened. Uh, I had it scheduled for 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and, or Mountain Daylight Time, excuse me, not Mountain Standard Time. And then we had to switch over to this backup stream link. This is an old stream link. It's the same one that I had set up before. I'll turn this around for a minute. So this link that you guys are watching on right now is the one that I had set up for the North Glen live stream, which that might have been why it said uh, 2.30 or 2 o'clock for you. Uh, is YouTube history not working? I don't know for YouTube history. I can't really check either because I'm in a live stream. I can't go back into the YouTube app in the YouTube app. If I was streaming from my external app, life would be great. I would be able to switch over and tell you, but I can't tell. Hey, Texas Danger, how are you doing? Uh, well, for me, it's afternoon, but good morning for sure. It's my own hotspot, bro. I got hotspot on my phone. <laughs> like that's actually a thing you can do. You can connect right through your phone if you have the right setup on your service. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. We'll rotate this around and get you guys into the spot. So, yeah, I'm going to do this again. So, we are starting out here uh, north in northern Cheyenne. You can't really see it. I'm going to flip my phone. There we go. So, you can kind of see the intersection of Yellowstone and uh, uh, Story Boulevard. It's next to the old Uncle Charlie's. Uh, we're starting in front of the stag convenience corner that just got demolished over the last week uh, it was a pile of rubble when i rode by here on my bike about three days ago four days ago uh standby news can kind of confirm that too he was out here like the day after or something like that <laughs> uh, right now they are getting rid of the remaining rubble the only thing that i see left is some of the vacuums over there if i zoom in you can see the vacuums are still there uh, they also got the sign there as well that says Stag Convenience Corner. Although I don't know if you can read it right now because the lighting's not right. Uh, yeah. My phone sucks, won't let you. That sucks. It might depend on the phone too. I got a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, so that's what I've been using for uh, streams. Uh, we are getting some bad storms where I live. It's kind of doing that here. We're getting some... A little bit of snow flurrying when we first started this stream it actually starts snowing a tiny bit uh, we're also really really windy today so the, i can feel the car rocking even though we're parked all right so once i see that there's no traffic we'll go uh to the right we got starbucks on yellowstone um, i don't want to rotate my things you can see starbucks right there Yep. Once again, I'm not going to be able to read chat. You guys are in the passenger seat and I'm driving, so I can't, I literally cannot read the chat. So we're going to go ahead and go because I do not see anyone. Let's see. I think the first place I need to go is actually over on Dell Range. So we'll go over that way. Uh, driving by Albertsons and McDonald's. So this McDonald's got... Uh, redone last year. Lobby is open. Playland closed. I can see the sign. Uh, I guess that would be an upside of having a 360 camera. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired of the snow too. It's getting there. We're in spring. Uh, we're seeing 50, 60 degree weather. A little bit of 70s even in some parts of my area. At least in Colorado. I don't think I've seen 70 here in Cheyenne yet, but it'll get there. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. I'm going to actually turn left here first and do a little Yui so that way I can show you this. I think I've done walking streams by here. At least one walking stream where I showed the this change, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it for the fun of it. So this space on the right is Uniwayo Bank. It's a former Dairy Queen and a bread store, a local place, Great Harvest Bread Co., I think it was called. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Go ahead, person. We'll do a little Yui thing here. There's no one behind me. All right. Here we go. We'll come back out here, and we'll do a left. So the biggest pitfall with driving is, I think you're already going to start noticing, is that we can't really stop in the road. We could, but that would impede traffic, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, 
uh, that's where I kind of want to do some kind of biking thing eventually. So right there you can see the Domino's and Ziggy's Coffee that took over the old Taco John that relocated right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a left and continue down uh, Del Range. Got an email saying stream is at 3. Yeah, so yeah, the, this stream was planned to start at 3. It's just that this backup link might have said that it was supposed to start at 2 because that's when we started the North Glen live stream that I did. Okay, we're gonna go before the traffic gets here. Ow, ow. We got in Pizza Hut, old school one here. Supposedly, I think they were wanting to move to that gas station we saw back there, but didn't end up doing that, so that's okay. Uh, we're on manual drive in Yellowstone now. Headed up to the Del Range district is the uh, directory sign over here on the right says. And I don't know if the camera caught it. It might have, but it might have been blurry too, so. That's the second speed limit sign I've seen today that has some kind of little thing on the top that looks like a camera or meter thing on it. Probably watching people's speeds, see if the speed limit makes sense or something like that, but I don't know. That's just my guess, but. And again, I don't know if the camera would have picked it up, so. Hey, Ransacked, how are you doing? Ziggy's is still open, color me sh shocked. Yeah, they, as far as I know, they're still open. Um, it's an interesting situation they're in because they're forced into only having a drive through They have, as far as I know, there's not really an inside thing. Maybe they got something with Domino's where you could pick it up, but yeah, not much of an inside thing. I haven't been there in a little while, but I haven't had time to really go anywhere lately. Not too much. I've only gone places if I absolutely had to lately, so. We'll inch our way out here and wait for the traffic. Don't want to go too far because if the light changes, right? But I do want to be out here far enough that we can go when we can. If you wait behind the crosswalk, then it tends to be harder to get going. I think we're going to be able to go right now. Yep. Gotta watch these guys coming off the right. They shouldn't come over, but sometimes they, they will do that. All right, Sunset Drive. This is kind of the back entry to the airport. Uh, you may have noticed that airplane on the right for the Wyoming National Guard. Um, let's see. Got the CMAR over here in the original Meat Tira Mexican restaurant. They actually, I guess, I think it was that one that opened a second location closer to the mall. Uh, not where we're going today, but still cool. Let's see. Something I think that does need to be talked about eventually. Uh, and maybe even we could go and talk a little bit about it now is a little bit money wise. So I've kind of told my patrons this already so obviously i got ads running on a good amount of my videos i i kind of want to shift away from them because they're kind of annoying and so you know that's where memberships and donations can be good but that's besides the point uh i want to mention that some of kind of where the funds are going for what i get and all of it really is going into everything i've bought over the last couple of years to well three years to do this channel uh, so we've basically recovered everything we've paid membership wise. So like I got a, a membership for uh, a music application, a music thing. I actually need to turn right. Shoot. We'll do a little U-turn thing up here maybe. I think this Jeep might let me over. Yep. They're redoing the sidewalk here. So I got a music membership thing that I use for music and all my videos. So since I think, man, I think start of 2020, 2020 or 2021, I think 2020, uh, I've been using licensed music, uh, partly because it's better than what I get online, partly because there's more variety than what I can get online, and partly because it actually is licensed, not just kind of that questionable non-copyright where they can decide to claim you. We're going to do a little U-turn thing here. Going to let this car go by. And then we'll do a Yui. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Can I do it without? Yes, I did it. 
I forgot about Culver's, so we're going to take a look at Culver's. So the new Culver's here in Cheyenne opened yesterday. Uh, and that in the process of doing that, they decided to close the one over here to remodel it. Uh, it will be reopening, but I do want to take a quick drive by it. Uh, I should have realized that I needed to turn there, but I totally forgot about it until the last minute. If there is an accident on your life, yeah, if I'm live, that's true, so you'll see it. <laughs> Stand by knees, because... Stay on my knees has full permission to share a clip of this stream if I get in a crash. <laughs> um, so I want to point out, since we're stopped here, is the AT&T over here that is vacant. That's where Crumble Cookies is supposed to uh, be putting a location eventually. Uh, they haven't done that yet, but hopefully they will be doing that soon. Uh, let's see. It's crazy that so many coffee places are getting... Uh, it put in, we're getting the Dutch Bros. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. It's crazy how many there are. There's so many, it's got getting to the point that I just cannot keep up with it anymore. So like, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be trying anymore after human being mate. I don't know. I might try Dutch Bros, but that's it for me. I don't want to try anymore. I, I like Ziggy's. I like Dazbuck. I like City Brew. I like Starbucks. I like them all for their own reasons. I'll probably end up liking Dutch Bros for its own reason, and same thing with Human Bean. And beyond that, I don't want to try anymore. So, yeah, we're going to take a left up here onto Powder House. Technically, it's not Powder House, and just drive by the Culver's real quick. So, for those of you that have seen Wally's streams, I know he does driving streams like this from time to time, but he does more of the highways, I notice. He tends to stick with the interstates. He'll do a little bit of city driving, but usually it might be when he's going to the grocery store or something. Uh, today, we're doing more kind of like a current events of retail in Cheyenne. So, we're going to take a look at everything that's happening right now. Uh, I almost was going to do some research and talk about some history, but honestly, it wasn't not really worth it because we're literally just looking at current events. Walking streams can be used for the history. Uh, we'll go to the left. Uh, I should have. Oh, we'll take a look at it on the way out. Unless they put the sign. Yeah, nope, they didn't. Okay. It's all right. So here's the old Culver's. This one was built in 2005 and opened that year. Uh, we're going to kind of idle through the parking lot here. You can see some of the vehicles they got here. Uh, they're doing some remodel on it. Uh, there's a sign that we'll take a look at on the way out that, I don't know, I guess it might have been on camera anyway, but I'll make sure that you guys see it that said that it's closed for remodel. Uh, we'll wait for these people. Driving by Office Depot and Gal Riley Auto Parts ahead. Here we go. Go ahead and take a little right turn here. Interestingly, I kind of was just intrigued by it, so I did a little research, and it does turn out that this one is owned by the same person as the one on Lincoln Way, although the property owner is totally different. The airport owns this property that we're at right now, and then someone else owns the one on Lincoln Way. So there's the Culver sign. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There you go. We don't got anyone behind us, so we're okay. Uh, hey, uh, I'm, I'm going to butcher your name. I'm just going to say a Sarah. Is that okay? If I just say a Sarah? Because I can pronounce that at least, at least somewhat. I think I'm just going to say that because that would make life easier. Dutch Bros is one of the best if you're honest, okay? I haven't tried them before, so. Yep, no problem. I like keeping you guys in the loop. And yeah, I kind of like when that, that one was there. So, uh, or the Taco John's was closed, yeah. Uh, we'll be driving by there today. And since you mentioned it, we'll take a look at that. Um, I don't think I've done a driving stream or a walking stream after they reopened it, so. Yeah. Interesting thing, all of these buildings are technically on Powderhouse uh, Road, even though the road in front of them is actually Aviation Drive. It's the one that's literally just behind us. And the Aviation Drive goes up to uh, the airport. It's kind of another back entry. You can see that it goes up there on the maps, and I've seen people driving up there too before, so. Uh. We don't got enough time to turn the camera to look at Wyoming Downs that took over the Pier 1, unfortunately. I've done it in walking streams, though. Uh, in fact, the last Del Range walking stream section I did, uh, one of the three parts, four parts, we did take a look at that, so it's at least somewhere. Um, yeah. 
let's see, which one is Taco John's? It's two more blocks, I think. I think two more blocks. No problem, standby news. I'm having a pretty good day. Uh, it's windy as all hell, but at least it's in the 40s and not not snowing t that much. We had a little bit of a spritz of snow earlier, but it's warm enough that it melted as soon as it hit. Um, let's see, I don't think there's much else going on in the mall besides the Barnes & Noble eventually moving into there. Uh, they haven't announced which location they're going to be in uh, temporarily. I have a hunch that it's either going to be the uh, the store next to JCPenney that was the mini golf place. It turned into a western store that closed. Uh, that one is definitely smaller than their current location, but it's about the biggest that isn't an anchor store. And then we also have the old Dillard's that I've done an abandoned video of that they could also open up in. And if they don't end up getting a different permanent location, I have a hunch that they're going to be stuck into that Dillard's. I do wonder if they might subdivide or something like that, but we'll have to just wait and see. Um, so I've heard Crumble Cookies is supposed to open in May, but there's definitely not too much happening at the specific location yet. Oops, we forgot to look at the Taco Bell, so we'll take a right at this light. That's all right. Actually, you know what? No, we'll go to the Barnes & Noble first. And then we'll go to the Taco Bell. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got to go out that way anyway. Because there's only one way out from here. Alright, so here's the Barnes & Noble. They are closing this store to relocate. Uh, they're being for basically forced out. So I was told the... Uh, I'm going to just kind of park right in the front spot here. We'll pull up here for a minute. Oh, shoot. I didn't think about why some <laughs> uh, Lovely. Oh, well. Um, I'm going to pull this thing out for a minute and just flip this around. Okay. So, uh, so Barnes & Noble is set to move to the Frontier Mall, like I was saying. I actually did do a video of them, of the store previously, that's going to be coming out tomorrow. Uh, we'll go for, from there and hopefully do a last day and have to wait how things go from there. Let's catch up on live chat. So let's see. So yeah, we got the open video, like the first day of closing video that I filmed last week and we'll go from there. Uh, okay. I'm going to do some, Hey Jack, how are you doing? Let's see. We'll try and rotate this thing around. I should really rotate this this way for a minute. Whoa. Look at that zoom. <laughs> Going to be the Dillard space or the vacant space next to JCPenney uh, that was previously occupied by a... Oop, help if I hit reverse when it... That was previously occupied by a Western store. I forget which what the name of it was. I'm trying to watch in the... Where people are. Don't love this parking lot. So I did look online to see what the plans are for the natural grocers that's supposed to be into the, moving into this Barnes & Noble. Uh, they are planning to divide it into a two-thirds by one-third space. One-third will be vacant, two-thirds will be occupied by the uh, natural gro or two-thirds will be occupied by natural grocers, one-third will be vacant until they get a tenant, I think, unless they end up using that for storage. Now I'm going to rotate this back the correct way. So we got the space next door as well. So this was a Burger King originally. It was Tokyo Bowl in 2007 and 2011, and it got taken over by uh, Rolando's, which later converted into Fernando's. It closed just at the end of the month last month, sometime between that time and the and the second, because I came out here, they were literally finishing up with getting stuff inside the building taken care of. Um, it is going to be demolished for the Dutch Bros as... Uh, I think ransacked pointed out and i did do a video of this thing so we'll be able to get that up soon i'm probably going to be prioritizing the uh barnes and noble video and some other videos first but that's but we do got it at least so it'll, it'll come soon enough i'm going to go out this way and go over to the taco bell now since you guys mentioned that 
and kind of merge over here. I don't think there's any traffic. I really didn't need to use my signal there, but fuck it. All right, we got a Jeeper, Jeep Wrangler four door, older one. It's not one of the new JLs. So there actually is a PDF online somewhere. I found it before and I got it linked somewhere. Uh, I think I need to turn left here. Yeah, uh, that kind of actually talks about the Barnes and Noble and the Burger King and the Kmart. There's actually a photo in the application or in the PDF for of Kmart, even though it was a kind of a crummy black and white one with that was made up of print dots. Uh, it talked about how they were setting up that interchange on Del Range where we turned right, and like literally that's when it was going to be turned into what it is now, where it was just. A simple right turn in, no exiting, no nothing. And now you have to go out that back way where we just came out. All right, we're going to take a right on Stillwater, and we'll stop in front of the Taco Bell. So I have heard the service is literally the same as before they got rebuilt, but I, I don't know. I haven't gone there myself, so I can't speak for certain on that. And if there's a different crew in there, maybe the service is a little better. Maybe it's worse. Who knows? Uh, I've told you guys before some of the stories about what I've had to go through with this location before it got rebuilt though. So uh, let's get this guy out of here. So we got the Taco Bell there. You can see the, the new building. They do got a section for mobile pickup, although I haven't seen it used yet. And they also got the normal lane for the drive through. Uh, it's definitely closer to the more modern Taco Bells, but it does not have that uh, uh, drop was it kind of like a bank kind of like how mcdonald's used to be i guess where you used to be able to have the food sent over in an overhead thing okay we're gonna go ahead and take a right and go over to the new mattress firm that's being built in front of uh kmart old kmart uh, do you know when Dutch Bros is coming? No idea, but it's definitely coming soon. I feel very certain that Barnes & Noble deciding to start closing the date, uh, what was it, last Thursday? I have a feeling that had something to do with why they were closing then. So I'm anticipating that when Natural Grocer starts doing stuff to that location, uh, that's when uh, they're also going to demolish that building. We got one more car in the well, Shoot. I don't like turning out into the right lane if there's people in the left lane too. I'm, I mean, I can probably get into the right lane without cutting into their lane, but then it's still gonna freak the frick out of them. I've been scared to death of people pulling out on me, like to going into the right lane like we just did, but I'm in the left lane and I, I don't know they're gonna go in the left lane, so I don't like doing that. Okay, we need to get over, I'll do after the light. We need to go over and take a left into the Kmart lot, and then we're going to continue out west, I believe, or east, I believe, sorry. Pretty sure the, I don't remember what the next place was. I got to think about it for a minute. I do got my laptop, though, so I could always pull out my laptop and see where I need to go. Is the other natural, yes, the natural grocers is going to close over there. They're, they want to relocate for more space and probably a better store. I don't know if I'm going to do a video yet. I haven't decided. Uh, I, I haven't gone there much. I went there twice, me. I think the main reason I just never went back was the pricing being more expensive, but then they do sell organic fruit, which is, you know, arguably a little bit better for you than some of the stuff that might have other junk in it that isn't so good for you. So there is that argument, but at the end of the day, the organic ends up being more pricey. So it's like, eh, it, either or, <laughs> I guess. It depends on what you want, I guess. I haven't definitively decided what is truly better myself. Um, maybe someone who is experienced in that field of food and stuff would be able to tell you better, but yeah. I'm gonna go this way because I don't want to go over the speed bumps. I love how narrow this is. 
And see, if I was on a bike, we wouldn't have to do all this silly, swervy crap. I could probably just cut right through the grass over here and not have to fight this so much. That's where I would really like to figure out how to stream on bike. The biggest thing is getting a setup to stream. I don't really care for doing horizontal streams if I have to. Unless I'm on Instagram, I don't want to do a horizontal stream. <laughs> Alright, so over here in front of here, there never used to be a building. There was a recycling area. Uh, so Cheyenne had blue recycling bins all over Cheyenne. Uh, and those used to be out here on the very end uh, next to the curb. They are now set to build a mattress firm here. I don't know when it's going to be opening, but there are plans and it looks pretty similar to the average mattress firm. Although it does use a little bit of the same facade elements as Hobby Lobby did on the rest of this building. So you can see the design. It's somewhat similar to that, but in mattress firm's own words, so to speak. It's a little bit different, but... Okay. We're going to come over here for a minute because I need to figure out where I go. I forget if I had one more place on Del Rey that I was going to look at or if this was it. Let's see. There is two buildings... Let's see, is Freddy's getting a tenant next to it? So Freddy's is gonna, supposed to be located over in front of the Lowe's. They have done nothing to the property yet. Uh, the only thing that's there is all the permits and junk on the online website. I'm surprised this, you didn't switch to a bike during all those walking streams. The biggest pitfall of doing the bike on the walking streams is that when I'm doing a walking stream, I got a whole list of history, and if I'm biking, it's not gonna be as easy to do that. There are certainly roads like maybe Del Range where it would be arguable to be on a bike, uh, but I mean, like when you get into downtown, you literally have to walk. Like if you, if I was biking, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be able to do the history of anywhere. <laughs> All right, let me pull out my laptop and look where I needed to go, I forget. I probably should have printed out the map. I almost was going to, but I decided last minute, I don't want to waste all that uh, uh, printer ink on a freaking map. Because Google Maps makes you print out the map as though it's literally from Google Maps. So like you, you don't got much control over that. Maybe there's a way of turning that off, but uh, it just makes it too complex and too much for what I got. Like I'm already kind of low on ink in my printer as is, so trying to conserve ink here. Uh, I can't mute mom mic. Well, that's fun. Frickity, I can't type very well on an ankle. There we go. All right. So we need to go to I think I got turned my hotspot back on. There we go. Hey Dakota Wolf, how are you doing? It is a windy day here in Cheyenne. We're in the 40s today. It's gonna be windy until Thursday. Yeah, I know, you can't reinstall Chrome. I don't care. Where's my hotspot? Come on, hotspot. Did it just pop up? Nope, it didn't. Where's my hotspot? Did I enable it? Yep, I did. Where's my hotspot then? Am I just missing it? Why is it not working? There it is. I need to look at my map so I know where I'm going. I, I'm, this is my first time doing this, so I do apologize for some of the hiccups we're going through. I don't want to reinstall Chrome. <laughs> my maps. Shush. Okay, where am I going? I need like a table right in front of my camera, like right here. Hey Dalmatian, I need like a table right here in the front of my 
in front of the car so that way I can set my laptop there. Maybe I can see about somehow crafting a little mini table so that way I can set stuff there a little bit easier. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, we're gonna go on Ridge Road because we're gonna pass by the supply sergeant just real quick, just to point it out that they are at 76% off of for their closing sale. Uh, was there something else we were going to take a look at? Oh yeah, the apartments over near the Pershing Marketplace, and then we're going to go over there. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to leave this up and maybe even print screen it so that way I don't got to fight with my hotspot again. I think because I'm live, it's making it a little bit buggy. I usually do not use my hotspot when I'm live. Okay, disconnect. And turn it off. Yeah, I've heard that someone else said something about the history not working. So, yeah, that, that's crazy. All right, I'm going to put my laptop in the back where I can reach it. And I'm going to put my bag kind of in front of my tripod somehow. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and vamos. Ah. <sighs> Yep, I am so freaking happy I brought my laptop. If I didn't bring my laptop, I literally would have been screwed today. I literally would have been screwed. Like, even if the app did work, I would have been screwed because I would have had to reinstall it anyway, probably. It's so weird because the app worked fine this morning. I set up a second stream exactly the same way as I set up this the original link for this one uh, and did a quick little test stream. It connected just fine, no problems. And then I try connecting today, it, or, or for the stream right now, I mean, a few hours later. Okay, he's waving for me to go. Uh, I try connect for this stream a little bit later, and then hell breaks out. I guess I should have turned right there, but that's okay. We'll go through the parking lots. Oh, uh, yeah, FedEx office came over here. No one's behind us. We're going to just do this. Wow. I forgot about that. So FedEx office moved over here. There you go. They moved over here from Lincoln Way, or near Lincoln Way. I did partially film a video. I got finished filming the video for that. That will be coming soon. I think you guys will like what I have planned. I may or may not be including a little teaser in the Barnes & Noble video I put out tomorrow. <laughs> oh God, I love that the, that came up. It just happened to come up in the video. Like I was not anticipating to see um, a certain game in Barnes and Noble. <laughs> oh God, I'm probably spoiling it too much as it is. So I'm not gonna say anymore. <laughs> so I guess it wasn't all bad that we cut through here, but we'll let this person go. I hate this corner. It's tight. There we go. Plus with my bike, that's the other thing I want to mention. So I, with my bike, I haven't figured out a way of really using my phone to stream. Uh, I technically could use my GoPro, but I've tried using my GoPro before and it doesn't work. Uh, I don't know what it is with extra, uh, um, external apps like the GoPro app or the uh, DJI app for the gimbal. Both of them that have the same issue. I cannot get live at all. I don't know why. It, it, maybe it's Android. Maybe it's them. I don't know. I think it's them because I can go live sometimes from the Prism Live app. But, yeah. Something I want to point out is that all the Exons here in town turned into Sinclair. So, something you're going to notice throughout the stream is that all the Exons are now Sinclair branded. Uh, they switched out the signage about a month ago or so. It was about the same time that Breeze Through Car Wash opened the South Greeley Highway location, give or take maybe a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, uh, there's actually two Sinclairs directly across the street from each other now as a result <laughs> out on South Greeley Highway. It's so weird. Oh yeah, we'll stop by the car wash up here too. So yeah, as I mentioned before, we're not going to be able to cover everything. There's a new elementary school being built on Powder House, just a little bit north of the uh, old people home and the Lowe's. And unfortunately, we're not, we didn't, we're a, um, we weren't able to get over there and we're not going to be able to go everywhere, but we will get a lot of it. So as much as humanly possible, 
uh, sometime here I need to plug in my phone because I think it's down to probably below 50% now. So one of the next times I stop, I'll plug it into my little battery pack thing. Okay, we're going to take a right at this light and go through the parking lot so that way you can see the new Tommy's Express car wash that's getting built up here in front of Menards. I know a lot of people don't do it, but I really do try to uh, turn right into the right lane and turn left into the left lane and then get in the correct lane I need to. That's how you're technically supposed to do it, and for the purpose of a driver's test, you are supposed to do that, but a lot of people don't. I, I prefer to, though, myself. Unless there's certain circumstance where it like it's like I have no choice, right? There's certainly some circumstances where it would be better to make a somewhat mildly technically illegal thing do that just to be safer like you, you gotta do what's safest it's, it comes down to safety more than it comes down to legality and stuff like that but you obviously still want to be trying to follow the laws and I'm not an advisor so do not take that as advice it's purely educational or educational entertain, <laughs> entertaining I can't talk very good alright here we go so you can see the frame for the new Tommy's Express car washes up. They put in a, a retaining wall out there that goes around the back and curves around. I don't know how good of a wall it is, but I mean, it, is, it does look pretty thick to me. So hopefully it will stay holding up. I find it crazy how many freaking car washes there are in town now. Like there's just more and more of these drive through car washes. I personally don't care for them. Not because I hate their service, not because of that they, I don't think they should exist, but because they do pull your car through and usually they only have one uh, side of the car being pulled. So it's gonna tear the freaking hell out of your suspension. So I, that's my take on it. I don't care for them. Plus I personally prefer the idea of being able to manually make sure you wash what needs to be washed instead of going through there. But I mean, it's a car wash. It'll get your car clean at least, so there is that. But anyway, just some of my thoughts on it. It's literally no hay on Tommy's or any other specific car wash. It's just that I don't care for that design. I would prefer to see them have some kind of wide conveyor belt that takes your whole car, not just the left side of it or the right side of it. Uh, Team YouTube on Twitter has found out it's a known issue. That's good. So a lot of people are having that then. Do you got... You got a Zoom Zoom? I never they had one. I don't have... Do you mean a Zoom recorder? I don't know. What's being... Be, what's behind Sam's Club? What's being built behind Sam's Club, I think? Uh, Alexis May, how are you doing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess you mean off of Converse, and that would be a new sec area of apartments. I was trying to see on my way out to the start point today if they were building that yet but they i couldn't tell so i'll have to take a closer look when i do a bike ride sometime wind blew there much it depends but it's usually windier here than i would like <laughs> um today it's particularly windy we're seeing 30 mile an hour winds with 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts uh yeah so the freddy's is going to be in front of the lows it's literally to the right of the bank that they built I forget, last year or the year before. It's hard to keep track of all the dates of all the places. Like, I'll have, at any given moment, I'll have certain dates of certain places in my head. Uh, for example, I can tell you right now that Barnes & Noble was built and opened in 1995, and they uh, announced that they were going to close on Thursday, uh, last Thursday, and that they're going to be closing permanently for the last day on May 15th, unless they decide last minute to change it to a day before or something. So, you know, I got dates on my mind for certain places. It's just so much that I can keep in my head. Like, I can tell you that Bicycle Station moved from the Cheyenne Plaza, but I can't tell you right off the top of my head what the dates are that it was built and that it moved. And just for reference, that's a bicycle shop that's literally just down the hill over for here to the left, you can't see it because of your eyes' angle. We're going to take a right and go up Ridge Road now. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the apartments over by Pershing Marketplace that are being built. They're getting really, really close to being done. And we're also going to take a look at the... Uh, what is it? 
I'll think of it in a minute. What is that place? Supply Sergeant. There it is. Over here on the left, there is a Runza restaurant that's supposed to come soon, but I think they're waiting to build it until someone buys the franchise rights for it, which is interesting. Uh, they do got franchise opportunity available signs there, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's happening. It was announced, geez, probably mid last year that they were gonna come here. For those of you that don't know, that's a Nebraska-based fast food chain. I forget which city exactly. Well, I guess I should do my left turn signal because I'm getting over to the left. Uh, I forget which city in, out of Nebraska it's based, but it started in Nebraska. They got a quite a few locations in Colorado, including one in Loveland. I've never have tried their food personally, but I've heard it's good, so might be some place to try. Let's see, what else? There's not too much happening on Ridge Road besides the two things I already mentioned, the apartments and the uh, su supply sergeant. <laughs> this is mostly housing. There's not too much special to see. Uh, got a little trailer park on the left. I think it's uh, targeted more towards seniors, but uh, let's see. There's a field here on the right. Far back in this field is a house, and one of the buildings next to that house actually caught on fire uh, last year. I actually got photos of it when it was happening. I happened to be going out at the time that uh, whatever happened happened. Of course, I got there after the fire trucks and everything. I did, had no idea until they were there, but I'm gonna pull over here to the right. So for those of you that don't know, the supply sergeant, uh, the original building that they have up here on the left uh, caught on fire last year. I think it was last year, pretty sure. I got photos that I can use to confirm. Uh, but yeah, the, that original building right there in the middle that you see, it caught on fire. Uh, it happened to be just the right time and place where I got out there shortly after the emergency vehicles had arrived uh, to start putting out the fire. I took a few photos of it and that was about it. And then over here on the left, this is where they moved over to. So they got their, they made a banner, put it on here. Uh, this was Cheyenne Stitch for a while. They did stuff with leather and clothing and all that. Uh, right now, they are still in the process of closing. Uh, right now, they have 76% off signs up. It actually said 75 about two weeks ago, but they updated those to say 676. Um, yeah, they're getting there. I have no idea what they're going to do with this. Maybe turn into apartments, maybe turn into some kind of walkable plaza. I don't know what they're going to do yet, but we'll see soon enough. I'm going to get this thing set back up on here so that way I can do that. Yeah, as Alexis May said, uh, yeah, the Freddy's is going to be a building by the Discount Tire, across the street from Discount Tire, which, by the way, they recently updated their signs over there. Would you ever think about getting an e-bike? Maybe. Maybe. I, haven't, I don't know if I fully want one. Like, I am more than happy pedaling around Cheyenne, but then again, there are times when it would be kind of convenient to have an, a motor on it, on a bike. Uh, there is a Sam's Club that is planned to be built near Tempe Marketplace. That's out in Arizona for those of you who don't know Daniel L. Uh, Dakota, he does uh, videos out in Texas. Dakota Wolf says, "Miss, I miss 7-Eleven. Wish we still had one. Yeah, uh, I don't think 7-Eleven was in my city much or if at all uh, during my lifetime, but I definitely know that we had several 7-Elevens. Uh, that come and go that we drove by on the corner of Del Range and Ridge was a former 7-Eleven, although they rebuilt it um, more recently. Okay. I appreciate Joshua. We're going to continue onward. We're going to go over to the near the Pershing Marketplace up here. I don't see any traffic. There's a Hummer behind us, but they're about a block away, so we're good. We're going to continue onward. Let's see. Here's another example of something that just happens to be on my mind. I, I know I can pr 
pretty much confirm the A&W Root Beer and uh, the Wonder Bread store that was here on the left. Both of those were built in 1975, the same year that Ridge Road was being paved. Uh, that I know that because of uh, image. Oops, I guess I, well, this will work. This will work, never mind. I could have gone straight, but this will work. It's okay. Um, anyway, they were built in 1975. I don't remember all the dates right now off the top of my head, but right now the, I think we got a minute. Oops, help if I undid the right one. So, whoa. Right now over here, Quality Electric was here briefly, but they closed. Right now, this is Treasure Abilities LLC. Uh, that's where the Wonder Bread was. I think the signage might actually still be there. And over here on the right, the A&W is now where DT Liquor Mart is. Very little, if any, of the A&W remains, though. Uh, I don't think any of it remains, in fact. All right, we're going to turn left and... I need to get in the right lane and turn right over here in front of breeze through. We're gonna have to do a little U-turn. So this is the second breeze through that, that they built here in Cheyenne that we're at right now. And over behind of here, they built, have started building some new apartments. So we're not gonna go all the way into the parking lot, but you can see all of the apartment buildings here. They're getting pretty far. They got the whole frame up and everything. Uh, I don't know when they're going to be completely done, but I bet you anything they're done by summer and ready to be moved into. We're going to do a little U-turn and go back. Let's see. I think on Pershing. Yeah. We want to go on Pershing because we want to take a look at the Taco Bell. So we are getting there. How long have we been going? 52 minutes. Okay. Since we're stopped, I'm going to see about trying to get my phone plugged in. I, oh, uh, where are we at? 21%, yeah. So it's a good thing I checked this. Come on, charger. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yep, we'll continue onward. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's definitely things where I just have the dates on my mind because I'm thinking about it. Other times, not so much. All right, we can go right now. That person's turning right, we'll let them go. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna get in the right lane because the place is on the right. We're gonna be going straight through the roundabout, so. Got a place here on the right that's called the Roland 50s Diner. They sell all kinds of burgers and stuff. Uh, they've been going for at least a year or two now here in Cheyenne. I've heard that the, oh, I don't remember what they sell, but it's one of the places that used to be out at the Frontier Days. Uh, one of the, the food places out there. They set up in front of DT's bar every year now, so they're get, gonna be setting up here soon, which is interesting. I personally haven't ever tried them, but I've heard that their food is good. I don't know how I don't know how they are though myself. I can't tell if the phone how level the phone is. That is a pitfall of having my current setup. If I had my gimbal, I could have my phone more level. But then with my gimbal, you wouldn't really be able to see out the front of the car so well. So, yeah. All right, we got T-Bird Drive heading out west. Man, I don't know if you guys can hear the wind. Let me know if you can hear the wind. It's definitely fierce today. Now you won't be able to hear it because we're stopped, but. When you go out to the roundabout, be yeah, I know that roundabout is a little bit rough. I know how it works, but there's a lot of people that don't. They don't get it. They'll be in this lane that I'm in now and they'll make a left turn when they're supposed to just go straight onto Pershing. 
they made that roundabout way too freaking complex. They should have either made it a single lane all the way around with the right turn lane for each of the two lane roads, or they should have made it two lanes all the way around and added two lanes for the exit on 19th Street. But they didn't do that. I, I'm feeling more than certain that had something to do with money. Unfortunately. I like the shirt that East High has. That looks like a newer shirt, but it still has the vibe of the old Tradition Starts Here ones from 2015. Yeah, I think 2015. I think I've still got mine. It's worn now a little bit because I wore it a lot when I've, over the years. Got 35 speed limit on here. It's a pretty chill road. I'd rather bike here than Del Range, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Although here I'll probably I'd probably still opt for this sidewalk, especially since it's a wider one. That's something I really wish Cheyenne would get. There's only one Dutch style bike lane in the entire city of Cheyenne, and it's only lasts for about I'd guess to me about 30 feet. It's literally for the duration of an intersection out on Vanda High, just uh, west, or I'm sorry, just east of Yellowstone. It's near the Maverick gas station out there. Uh, there was someone crossing. I was like, why are those cars stopped? There's no one there. And then I see that someone behind the bush that I didn't see. We got a place over here that uh, did have for lease signs on it of sorts. But now there's a sign here that says the food truck stop. And there have been a few food trucks there, including the one right now that uh, I cannot read the name right now. Uh, that they, they use a trailer, which is interesting. Um, I find it interesting that they decide to use that parking lot for food trucks. It works, I guess. It does put business there, but yeah. Yeah, that roundabout is not the best. It It's better than some, I guess, but it's still way too freaking complicated for most people. Like, if you've never been on that roundabout, you're probably not going to know where, you're need, where you need to go. Even if you see the signs, you might run out of time to get into the correct lane, and it, it's just a mess. That's where I like the one out on the corner of Frontier Drive, Frontier Mall Drive and Prairie Avenue better. It's out by the Michaels and Target. Uh, that one's a lot better because it's a single lane all the way around and the right lane for Prairie on each direction is right only. It's very simple, very intuitive. You can't get it wrong. Got the Pershing Plaza over here. I noticed that the YO insurance place got replaced by Hub Insurance, which is interesting. And we're coming up on the Taco Bell, the old Taco Bell. Uh, so that Del Range Taco Bell we were at earlier, this is where they originally started. Uh, today it started to get replaced. They now call it the Pershing Suites. And there are two businesses in here. We're going to kind of just pull over on the corner here. Not the best spot, but we're only going to be a second, so it'll be fine. Okay, let me pop this bad boy off. So let me see if I can do this. So we got the Pershing, whoa. We got the Pershing Suite sign there. And we got uh, Jade... Johnson, American National Insurance agent here, and also Stone Creek Roofing and Exteriors, uh, Roofing Gutters and Siding. Both of those businesses are located right here in this little plaza thing. They took two of the office spaces each, and I think there's roughly, I think there's roughly, I need to back up a little bit. There we go. I think there's roughly six office spaces in here. So hopefully nobody's going to turn in on me. We're going to go around the block. And I think we got to go over to Mori. I forget what the next thing is we needed to look at. Uh, I'm going to have to look, I think. 
I don't know. Maybe I'll go the other way, too. I don't know. We'll see. I'll need, I need to look at my map again. So I think in the future, something I definitely need to do is just look at getting a secondary phone, because although I got my laptop and can do that, it's greatly inconvenient to look at my, pull out my computer just to look at the map. It really is. So they started remodeling though that Taco Bell after I did the video uh, that I filmed last year. Uh, I did an update abandoned video so that something was happening there. And sure enough, not long after that, they started doing complete reno. Uh, the front didn't get too, things changed too much, but I heard the back was fully gutted and replaced. So gotta do what you gotta do because that was the kitchen area and the, you know there's gonna be all kinds of grease in there okay so we're just gonna park right here for a minute long enough for me to look at my computer wow come on computer Okay, maybe it didn't go into sleep mode yet. That's probably what it was. Damn it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I was planning to go over by the Culver's, darn it. All right, well, it's all right. We'll go over there after. It's okay. Um, well, I don't know. We could go back, I guess. Yeah, let's go back. Screw it. So we'll go back to Converse and then out to Lincoln Way and go from there. Uh, I kind of just want to leave this open. Make my life five times easier. And we'll turn the brightness on the screen down because it does not need to be that bright. Uh, put it into best battery life. There we go. All right, let's go. Vamos. I'll look at the chat in a minute. I see, I see a new chat message, but I can't look at it right now. Oh, there's a new Pershing Suites sign there. I kind of want to go through the alleyway now. Roll tacos with guac. How are you doing? Looking to move to Cheyenne, are you? That's cool. That's cool. In my honest opinion, living here all my, for literally all my life, it, it's okay. Um, I kind of would like to be in Denver because there's so much more there, but then it's so much more expensive. So it's like, well, then again, I'm kind of happy that I'm here because it's so much cheaper. I, get, I, I mean, I'm probably speaking on behalf of other people in my life for that matter, but like for real, it's going to be cheaper here in Cheyenne to live than it is in other places. It's just a little bit less opportunity. So we're just going to kind of pull right here. We can't actually turn left into the lot. I'm going to put my blinkers on for a minute. So let me see how I can do this. So you can see, maybe, you can see the Pershing Suites sign right there. Brand new Pershing Suites sign. Is that cool? I did not notice that they set that up. All right. Turn these off and get over in the right lane. It looks like I might have accidentally rotated you guys a little bit. There we go. All right, so we're going to go over to Converse and over to the new Culver's area. Uh, so they, like I said, they opened yes. Oh, I forgot about this actually. Let's t turn left into here for a minute. really quick before we go over there. I totally forgot about this. So this building here that you see in front of us used to be a Montgomery Ward. Most recently, it was being used by the Wyoming uh, Workforce Department. Uh, now it's only, only part of it's being used for the Wyoming Family Services. The Wyoming Workforce Department moved out to the former Kmart slash Sutherlands out on Yellowstone Road. And right now they actually have this whole fence thing set up here. There's a big old 
a dumpster there. I, they got one of the doors boarded up, so I guess they're doing something inside. I just don't know what. I'm thinking that part of it probably is about to be rented out. Uh, it's a pretty big building. There's a lot of offices. There's a lot of sections in there, so they could pretty easily rent that out to like several tenants that need office space. Okay, so this is the Pershing Plaza, of course, just for reference. We're gonna get back out into Pershing. Uh, I shared this on my Instagram story on one of my recent bike rides. I tell you what, I'm getting pretty good with this bike riding thing. I've gone all, literally around the whole entire city in a day. Uh, the other day, I actually went all the way out south uh, towards where the Sinclair is. Wasn't fun going down college. You at least have a, a little bit of a, an edge you can ride on. Kind of a parking lane. Oh, frick. I want to go, but there's a huge freaking bump here, and I don't want to speed over it. I went out there. It wasn't fun going down college, but it was a whole hell of a lot of fun going back to Lincoln Way on Southwest Drive. It's all downhill. I actually had to switch into my third gear on my front, uh, on the front of my bike. I usually do not have to do that um, to keep up with the pedaling speed. So I was, I'm willing to bet I was doing close to 30 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of the traffic passed by me, but we actually had, at a certain point, I had traffic just going with me, going with my flow. We can go after the one more car here. Rah. Here we go. Like, that was a lot of fun. I wish I had a, uh, my, a bike computer. I at least had my GoPro so I could figure out how fast I was going, but... Oops, I wanted to go to Converse, darn it. <laughs> oh, well, we'll go this way. That's okay. It's probably a little quicker to go this way because of the slant. I wasn't planning on going to the Taco Bell first. I actually had planned on going to the Culver's first, but that's okay. Let's see. No problems. Yeah, I mean, it's not like there's nothing to do. There is a movie theater. There are several gyms here in town. There's the Mayweather thing that just opened in Blue Federal Credit Union's uh, retail building, which I guess that's more, a little bit closer to a boxing kind of thing, sort of. I don't fully understand it. You'd need to do the research to confirm that. Um, you know, there, there is stuff here. Uh, the Lincoln, the theater out on Warren, I think they call it the Lincoln Theater or something like that. I forget. Uh, they, they've they remodeled that so that way it's more of a retro theater thing. So that's there now. Uh, there is the mall, of course. It's not like there's nothing here, but I mean... It's just what I've seen. Like, I have done the research, and it's definitively more expensive to live in Colorado, even in, like, Loveland area. It's definitively more expensive to live down there. Prob I'm willing to bet it has something to do with all the people and the bigger cities. Because Cheyenne's a pre still a pretty small city. It's the biggest city in the state of Wyoming, uh, but it is smaller. Uh, than Fort Collins by a long shot. We're at 65,000, roughly. Probably a little bit more than that now. So, yeah. I'll turn left here because there is the FedEx office. Come on, cars. One more car. And then I'm going to go. Vroom. Jesus, did you see what that blue car just did? Holy shit. <laughs> did not want to wait. You're not supposed to do that. They went into the bike lane and parking lane. I think this guy didn't expect to expect me to come here yet. It's okay. Gotta do what you gotta do. Sheesh. I tell you, there is some crazy drivers. All right, so we're gonna we're on uh, 15th, just south of Lincoln Way, I think, right? Yeah, 15th. Kind of a blind corner on these roads. 
we're going to go over to the Culver's over here. I'm curious how packed they are for it being the second day. I haven't been there yet, but I imagine they're really packed. Oh, yeah, I see cars there already from here. It's all right. You guys will see it in a second. So here is the corner of 15th and Converse. We're going to take it right and go over in front of the Culver's. It'll be on the right. So they took over the space that was the Poor Richards. They completely demolished the Poor Richards and the Pizza Hut for the new human being and Culver's. So we got a red light so I can actually stop here and pop the phone for a minute. Here we go. Ah. So there's the Culver's. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see their signage. So they literally opened yesterday. Uh, doesn't look as packed as I've heard that the Pueblo one is that also opened yesterday was, but it still is pretty freaking packed. And there's also the human being that we'll take a look at in a second. Uh, I'd show you from this perspective, but the light's literally changing right now. So we'll have to just go around the block. Yeah, it doesn't look super packed, but there's definitely a lot of cars parked here. Definitely a lot of cars. There's a decent number of cars in the drive-thru. Okay, so the human being from this perspective is going to be to the left of the Culver's. And then we also got the Culver's on the right, which I'll kind of do a pan thing here for you guys. So there's the Culver's. Kind of got a single parking thing here, which is interesting. They did the parking lot a little bit different than I expected. It's pretty crazy to think that Pizza Hut and, and uh, Poor Richards used to be here. Poor Richards was a little more in the way of steak and stuff like that. Whereas Pizza Hut was solely there for the pizza. Uh, and of course, that was another red roof. So yeah, there's a little bit of a glance at the human being. We'll go out here on the end here. And I think at this point we need to go out, out west. This stream might actually come out to a little over two hours. I figured it would be at least an hour and a half, but just because of all the stopping we have to deal, that's another thing. Like with a bike, I could just stop and go. It's like, Urch, okay, let's go. With a car, you gotta stop. Okay, now we can go as soon as this car goes. And then you gotta go find a spot to stop again to do the panning and pictures and whatever. Like I actually brought my uh, actual camera, like my point and shoot camera with me to take photos, but I haven't even thought about taking photos just because I'm so occupied with this live stream. It's hard to do that. Um, so I kind of wanted to look at here was the uh, Grant Farms property that's now Crazy Motorsports, but that's okay. It's all right. I can't get every single one. So we're just going to keep going. We'll take a right and get on to Lincoln Way again. Got to stop here for a minute. We got a little bit of traffic, so I'll look at chat. Driving by my brother's house, eh? <laughs> How are you doing, a Zecker uh, Abercrombie? Abercrombie? Hopefully I pronounced that right. Every time you talk about Culver's, my wife is like, I want food from that. <laughs> ah, they do got good food. In spite of my bad experience with getting to-go orders from inside, they do got damn good food. I love getting the chicken tenders and the butter burgers. I always will get that when I go to Culver's. I thought Red Roof was only in Colorado Springs. Oof, question mark? No, okay, we can go. Room. It's not like this car behind me could go very far. It's a red light still anyway. <laughs> uh. I'm guessing you mean of the Pizza Hut, question mark? Or do you mean of the Culver's? I'm not sure. 
If you mean Pizza Hut, red roofs are everywhere. If you mean Culver's, I don't know how the roof is. Maybe the, you mean the color scheme of the building? I, I think I missed something. I think I missed something. <laughs> All right, we got a light changing here. Got peerless tires on the left, brake stop on the, or I'm sorry, peerless tires on the right and brake stop on the left. Brake stop is a former gas station, obviously. Gonna be driving by the uh, Holiday Park. Sometime I think I might do a Holiday Park video. Every single time I do a live stream where we go through the Holiday Park, I almost always have the internet quality crapping out there. So the stream would end up turning into a 360p or even a 240p stream. It sucks. So I, I might say about doing this kind of video. Jesus Christ. There was a black vehicle. I don't know if it was on camera, but there was a black vehicle behind me now that turned out, turned left into the left lane and it scared the crap out of me. That's my point. That's why I wait for traffic to clear in both lanes. I don't care if the person behind me likes it or not. It's just not a good idea to pull out because it's going to scare the crap out of any driver in the opposing lane that you aren't going into. <laughs> oh yeah, Lincoln Way is getting construction up here. Looks like the right lane closed now. Shoot, so we'll be going in the left lane now. I guess we'll know now if they're doing a media now, won't we, standby news? He was doing a stream the other night where he was out kind of on Lincoln Way area and he asked about what they were doing. I have no idea for certain what they're doing. I heard that they were just doing maintenance, but I could be wrong. There's Rodolfo's Mexican Grill. Uh, that one is still open. That has connection to the Rolando slash Fernandez that we saw out on Del Range. Uh, so they're still open there. I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, they took over that KFC we passed a little bit farther back. The old KFC. Got Halliday Paint and Collision Center. Crazy Motorsports was in there for a little while. Uh, I don't know why the truck to the left of me is going so slow. It's not 20 miles an hour until right here. It's so dumb that it changes to 20 right before the stoplight. So dumb. Got Arby's on the right. That one's been there for a very long time. There are actually some photos out there on the internet of uh, their old sign, the old school sign they used to have. Uh, this Carl's Jr. on the right used to be Hardee's and before that there was a gas station there. I forget the name of it at the moment. It's one of the ones that is very popular in California. I think it's Chevron. I think it's Chevron. And we do got again the left lane. Yeah, it looks like they're just doing patchwork pretty much because now the right lane's closed and we're going to drive in the median. So that's fun. I should have gotten over sooner, but I didn't think about it. Red Roofs were a... Sm oh! <laughs> Red Roofs were a small burger chain in Colorado Springs. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, hey, yo, Sovini. I might have butchered that name because I can't read it right now. I'm driving. Okay. I got to get over here sometime. Okay, that truck's turning left. So is the, and that van is too. All right, we can get over. Got the Plains Hotel over here on the right. And or can we make it? I think we can make it. Yep. Just barely made it before it turned. Yeah, it looks like they're just doing median work. Uh, standby news. I see a lot of patched up concrete, like they cut out chunks and replaced the whole entire section of concrete. So they at least did the proper job, but yeah, that looks like that's all they're doing. It would be interesting if they put this median thing up here though. Like you see this median right ahead of us. It would be interesting if they did that all the way through the whole section of downtown, because this definitely slows people down a lot. Like, I think that's the main reason they put it there. I don't think it's the safest, uh, the way they did it, I don't think it's the safest way they possibly could have done it. And God, it's hard to not do 20 miles an hour here. Uh, I don't think it's the safest way they could have done that medium, but they, you know, it would be interesting if they did it all the way to really make people slow down. Because it is a nerve wreck to be right next to the wall. 
It's a good traffic calming measure. So here's another example why I was talking about. We got Sinclair right here. Uh, that used to be an Exxon on the right. You might have to, of course, we already kind of passed it. You couldn't see it when I was talking about it, but you can kind of see it probably if you back up a little bit. Let's see. They were doing some work on this bridge up here a while back too. It would be nice if they made the bike path bridge go under here, like or bike path go under this bridge and connect up with the rest of the Martin Luther King Jr. Park uh, area. This place over here on the right, MJ Auto Cells, that relocated from where the breeze through car wash on South Greeley Highway is today. Uh, they actually didn't move here first. They moved to a different location further south on South Greeley Highway, and then they moved over here. And they've been here for a few months now. So, And coming up out here, they got the old Albany, right? Old Albany Hotel and also the Hitching Post Inn. Both are fully demolished. Um, we should actually probably turn right. Um, can I do it? Yes. I need to turn right here, boy. Sorry, uh, Toyota truck. Rah. So right that area to the left of us, that is where the Hitching Post Inn used to be. That's fully demolished. They haven't done any new foundation work yet, but they probably will be soon. They got the new foundation in for the other hotel that's taking over the former Albany area. And you'll be able to see that here in a minute when we do a little UE. And see right here, you're probably gonna see the quality crap out to 360p, I'm guessing. So you are gonna start noticing pixelization. Pixelization, you're not gonna be able to read anything. Uh, you'll be able to kind of make out a little bit of what's happening, but that's about it. And I apologize for that. You can blame YouTube for that. And because I don't have my other application working today, I do not have a backup of the stream. So I can't re-upload the non-laggy version of the stream. I apologize for that. So yeah, uh, just over here to the left. Let's do a little thing here. So there you go. So this area over here, you can see a little container crate here they got. That was the Albany, and I did film it as abandoned. I also filmed the hitching post as abandoned. Uh, they do got the foundation work in for the new hotel that's taking over that. Um, we're going to go to the right because there is one more, well, a couple more things I guess I want to point out. Uh, something interesting is that Banner Capital Bank is part of the one financing for this hitching post plaza uh, by the way they are supposed to keep the hitching post sign and i think they might change out the hitching post in for hitching post plaza but they'll keep the sign uh, as long as it doesn't get damaged or anything um, and i'm willing to bet you that banner capital bank ends up being the bank that got gets built there there is building plans that show a new hotel a new retail area um, potential new housing and of course a new bank and I'm sure I'm willing to bet you that'll be Banner Capital Bank that ends up there seeing what is happening out at Sweetgrass because the bank out there that's financing some of that is also being built is also building a new bank out there <laughs> it's interesting how that works all right are you ready for another Sinclair there's a Sinclair up here on the right that used to be an Exxon not too far from the other Exxon we passed. <laughs> and now it's branded as Sinclair because Sinclair got all the Exxons here in Cheyenne. <laughs> and of course, this is only like two blocks away from the Little America where there's another Sinclair. <laughs> it's Sinclair, Maverick, and Come and Go. That's about it here in Cheyenne anymore. Is the Philly West sandwich shop closed? I don't know. Uh, last I checked, it was open. I didn't take a good look at it when we drove by there just a few what a few minutes ago i did not think to look at it but when we were there so there's really nothing new happening over here in the plaza where home depot is but there is the new restaurant that took over the village inn over here that used to be denny's uh, i don't have the dates off the top of my head but i did do an abandoned video of the denny's that you can find on my channel and i do got the dates in there uh, bottom line, though, it started as Denny's. As far as I can tell, Denny's moved out to the 
Flying J Plaza that is way out south of town, and now it turned into a Village Inn later on. It was the second Village Inn here in Cheyenne. It closed in the 2010s. I definitely remember the sign being there up to the 2010s. And over the last year, Trace Amigos did a little bit of renovation, which is a local Mexican restaurant. Uh, they did a little bit of renovation on it, and they got it to where it's at now, where it's open. I've heard it's good. I still need to try it. I'm embarrassed to say I haven't tried it yet. Maybe it's a maybe since this is Cheyenne Restaurant Week, it's a reason to try it finally. Uh, let me pull out my camera for a minute. Try not to get this caught up. Let me zoom in on the sign. So you can see Trace Amigos right there. It's not the same as Los Amigos. It can't be confused with that. There's also a chain that is also called Trace Amigos, but has a totally different logo. So it is important to differentiate there. Let's see. Can you get a cone at Little America? You mean an ice cream cone? Maybe something to do sometime. I'm kind of hooked up. My phone's hooked up to my battery pack, so I don't feel like fighting it right now. But yeah. Yos, Yos Vani Ke Quesada. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that somewhat right. Welcome to the stream. I meant to do that earlier, but we were driving, so I couldn't really read your what your name was. <laughs> I, like I said, I can't drive and look at the stream chat at the same time, especially right now because my phone is in the passenger seat, so I cannot even see the screen unless I lean over. Uh, do a little U-turn thing. Unless I lean over. I, like I said, maybe it's a reason to look at getting a secondary phone where I can maybe mount it on the windshield or something for stuff like this. But then again, maybe I'll look at doing biking streams in the future. Just because with biking, I can pretty easily just ride right up to wherever I need to go. Instead of with this car, I have to stop, pull the camera off the tripod, zoom it in where I need it to go, zoom it out, then then put it back on the tripod, then get the car back going. Like, It's a pain in the butt, man. It is a pain in the butt. It's doable, just annoying. And of course, over here on the right, we got a old Phillips 66 gas station. Uh, I did kind of take a look inside of here uh, when I did a walking stream before. I don't want to go too far forward because this parking lot is a mess right here. It's a shame that you have to go through a little bit of it as it is, but yeah. I did do that. Um, I might see about doing some kind of video at some point. I don't know yet. If I do, then it'll just be a window shopping video since I do have no trespassing signs up, but I don't know yet. I haven't made up my mind if I actually want to do it or not. It wouldn't hurt because it's retro as hell, but then again, do I really, really want to do it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I kind of need to because there's not really another abandoned gas station here in Cheyenne. If I want to do another abandoned gas station, I actually got to go to Broomfield and Parker No, I don't, I don't think that Parker uh, Taylor is in here right now, but he knows what gas station I'm talking about because it's in Broomfield. It was another one just kind of, kind of similar to the one in Aurora, Colorado I filmed last year. Or, yeah, last year. I think it was last year. All right, so we're going to go up Southwest Drive. I haven't been on Southwest Drive before for a live stream, so I don't know how the quality is on there. Uh, so if we do have lag there, I apologize. Hopefully it won't be quite as bad as when we've been on the corner of Parsley and College. That one was really bad. Oops, it's a little bit too soon. So yeah, like I said, that, uh, yesterday I went on a bike ride. I went out this way, out to, well, sort of. I went over through Parsley and College, and then I came back on Southwest Drive, and because it's mostly downhill, it was a really fun ride to come this way. Uh, going up College wasn't fun. You do got traffic that's going 50 or 60 miles an hour, which is a little bit scary. Um, I don't think I would do it again unless I was desperate. I might do it one more time just for the fun of it, but at the, after that, I don't think I want to do it again. <laughs> Until they get some kind of bike path set up here. Uh, they're, they're supposed to build some kind of bike path that connects Parsley up to this road we're on, Southwest Drive, but... They haven't done that yet, and it probably won't be for another five or ten years before that happens, so. At least. Maybe longer. If you go to the Cheyenne planning website, I, don't mean, I mean the uh, public planning website, not the one where you have the public access, login, and all that. 
uh, they have a, a thing there called Connect 2045, and it has all sorts of uh, info for uh, where the future bike paths are supposed to be. Some of them have already started to be built. Others still have a ways to go. Um, but they show that there is supposed to be a bike path that at least gets you up to Southwest Drive. Uh, like somewhere around this area that we're at right now, it's supposed to connect up to. My hope would be that they eventually connect it up with College Drive somehow, uh, since there are businesses out there. But, Jesus, I got going a little quick there. See, we're going uphill right now. This was all downhill, so that it was a really fun ride going down this. This was so fun. I actually was able to more or less keep a reasonable speed where traffic wasn't annoyed with me as much. Ugh. I hate driving on this though because this is really bouncy. On a bike, it's not so bad because you can be in the center of the lane, but in a car, you gotta go every over all these little humps in the road. It's probably partly because of trucks driving over the years. I think trucks are not supposed to be on this road, but they do anyway sometimes, so it tears up the pavement really bad. Whee! Like, I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but I feel every single freaking bump. I wish there was a better way to go. Like, there's literally no alternative. It's either this road or college. That's it. You can't do any other way. So I wanted to come out here and take a right because they're building a new place called Bish RV. Uh, that's going to be kind of behind of the truck wash that we have here in Cheyenne. Uh, you'll see the one I'm talking about here in a minute. So we got one van. We're going to let them go. We got a diverging diamond interchange up here. I've walked through it before. I've walked along college before. That's not so bad because I can actually be on the grass. But with a bike, you can't really be riding through the grass. You're going to get a flat. So it's like I, I kind of got to stick with the lane. <laughs> At least it wasn't too traffic-y, considering it was a weekday, but, man, it's windy. Yep, I bet you've never seen a bicycle out here, though. <laughs> I definitely never have seen a bicycle out here in my life, so it was kind of fun to come out here. <laughs> I do wonder what people's reactions were like. I really do wonder what people's reactions were like, because this is a very car-centric part of Cheyenne. None of the businesses out here have a bike parking area. Not any of them. Not Flying J, not the hotel, not McDonald's, not the DMV, none of it. None of it has bicycle parking whatsoever. If you want to lock your bike up, you're going to be locking up to a telephone post or taking it in with you. So here you go. You got the Blue Beacon car wash over here on the left. And a little bit farther up here, we got the Bish RV. It's on the um, road up here. I forget what it's called. It's a new road they constructed not too terribly long ago. a left oh yeah Gannett I think it's Gannett Drive but I can't tell because the sign is broken I don't know how the hell that part of the sign would have been broken because it's literally the side farther away from all the traffic but okay here you go you can probably see it now so this is going to be Bish RV big old place that sells RVs and stuff like that. I've heard that there's a lot of shortages going on RVs and stuff. Uh, who was it? Lato's Law. Lato's Law did a video about why you, should, why you should sell your RV right now. And he was talking about how there's a shortage of stuff for RVs. He's another YouTuber on YouTube. He t mainly talks about law and I think he's out in Michigan. So uh, take that for what you will, but yeah. We'll do a little Yui thing. We're going to turn right on this next road up here. 
and go back the way we came. Except we're going to go out farther west on, or farther east on Colish, because you're going to want to see what sweetgrass is looking like. Further, um, sort of east of here, because it's on South Greeley Highway, uh, there's the port of entry on South Greeley Highway, and apparently out there they're building a new data center for Microsoft, and apparently there's also one that's going to be partially occupied by Microsoft out on South Greeley High, or, or I'm sorry, out on uh, Campstool Road. We will be going out on the area I'm talking about because there is a new bike path there that I want kind of want to show off. They haven't gotten it to the point where you can just jump on it from like College Drive or something, but at least it is there for many blocks now. All right, so we're on Clear Creek Parkway and Quartz Road, turning right, going to head back to College Drive. And I'll look at the chat as we get up here a little bit. I do my bike right over there, lol. Okay, so at least someone is, but still, it's not a safe ride, man. You got people doing 50 to 60 miles an hour on College Drive, and although you do got a little bit of a side thing, just like you do here, you know, it, it's still pretty quick for traffic to be moving the path by you that fast. I was a little bit nerve wracked, especially when the semi trucks came by, because you'd feel the wind, the burst of wind that they push on you when they drive by. Plus, there, I, I was, I think I saw a nail or two. Like, I almost hit a screw that probably had a point on it. I think it had a point on it. I did do video of it, and I think I might release on a secret secondary channel eventually, but I'm not that far yet, so. That was another thing. I was waiting to do it until I had my GoPro charged up and ready to go. I'm trying to figure out some kind of system where I could do some kind of biking thing on the channel, but still focus on retail. I'm, I'm still trying to figure that all out. Like I said, it would be nice to be able to live stream from a bike. The biggest problem being actually having the camera mounted. I know uh, Standby News uses a phone mount thing, but the biggest problem with that is that you're kind of forced into horizontal perspective so far with what I've seen with all the uh, different, all the different uh, phone mounts out there for bikes. They all seem to be forcing you into that horizontal, uh, or I'm sorry, that vertical position instead of the horizontal. So, yeah. Uh, I do not like horizontal at all, um, unless it's for an Instagram story. Instagram story is one thing, but almost any other time, I do not like the vertical video. I want to go horizontal like we are right now. And sorry if I said my words wrong initially. Having the wide screen video just looks so much better, and you have so much more flexibility with that. Four thirds is the best aspect ratio for sure, as long as the width of the stream is 1920. <clears throat> I don't know when they're gonna get this stoplight here set up. It's been set up just waiting to be used for months now. It, it, they put in like a year ago and they still haven't gotten it going. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, like right here, you can see how the lane shifts over. We turn into a single lane road. Uh, we got a parking lane on the side. Riding on that isn't too bad, but you still got the traffic going at a high rate of speed. You don't have much separation from the traffic, so it makes biking on here very scary. Walking is scary too, although, like I said, with walking, you can go on the side of the road. Like you can walk in the dirt. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, you don't know what's in the dirt, I guess, but you still can do it, and at least you can see where you're walking. You're not probably not going to step on a nail or something. And right up here is about where the stream's going to crap out really bad, because uh, we're. I think my phone likes to connect to this tower. I suspect it does, because my internet sucks when I'm right next to it. Uh, for those of you that aren't too aware of it, there are videos out there that explain this a little better. They're way more qualified than I am. But when you're a telephone uh, thing, uh, the quality is way worse than if you were far away from it. And actually, I thought it was there, but maybe not. Or maybe they took it out. Maybe they took it out. I don't see one there now. I thought there was one, but I don't know. Let's see. Where does the speed drop? I don't know got 45 here so we got a new area over here on the left that I can't really stop um, 
Can I maybe do a little Yui thing, maybe? Maybe. I'm gonna kind of pull over to the right and do a little Yui thing. We're gonna wait for the traffic and do a Yui, so that way I can take a look over here. I didn't think about the stopping for this one. So there's several different new residential areas going in over here on College. Uh, this is one of them. This is uh, west of Triumph High School, and I forget what the other one is. Is it South High? I think it's South High School. It's just south of there. <laughs> so we're going to kind of pull over here, maybe just barely pull into the corner here a little bit. So that way you can see it. This part of the road isn't closed, so you know what? We're going to just do that. That way we're out of the way of traffic. We can't go beyond this point. There you go. So you got a whole new area out here. I'll pull the phone off for a minute. You've got a whole new area out here that's going to be a whole bunch of new housing. Uh, I apologize if the quality's crapping. Some, I, maybe sometime we could do that where we go inside of places during a live stream. If my phone wasn't all connected up uh, to the to my power bank and my microphone and everything else, then maybe I would do that, but just not going to happen today. All right, I need to figure out how I'm going to do a U-turn here. At least there's no traffic here, so. They didn't block it off right at college, so I don't feel bad about pulling right here, but. Yeah, we can't go any farther than this. All right, we're going to go back out this way. And hopefully there's nothing in the dip that we're going to run over. I did not realize there was a horse crossing or horse riding sign here. Look at that. There's a horse, cro horse riding sign there. I did not know that. What kind of bike do you have? It's a pretty simple Schwinn. It's a more of a cruiser style of bike. I got it many years ago from Walmart back in 2015 before I started really kind of disliking them a lot. Um, for what it is, it's not a bad bike. I think I got it for about 200 bucks. So it's not the most expensive bike and definitely not the best bike out there, but it gets the job done for now. I think eventually at some point we'll probably have to get a better bike, but I'll use this one as long as it's rolling. I'm really wanting to I need to slow down because it's 20 miles an hour right here. Oh, that road, they got a sign up that says York Avenue. I did not realize they already had uh, street signs up on that one. On the left here is Triumph, and there's an elementary school up here that I forget what it's called at the moment. Um, I haven't ridden on this part of college yet as on my bike. But yeah, I'm trying to ride my bike more for a few reasons. I mean, for one, uh, let's slow down a little bit because we're at 30 miles an hour here. Got close to 35. Technically, can you? I think you legally can go up to 5 miles an hour over the speed limit, if I'm not mistaken. At least in Colorado, I know that's for certain, I, and I think it's the same here in Wyoming. Uh, let's see, what is this goal called? Rossman. The cool thing with Rossman Elementary School is that it actually ended up in American Truck Simulator and it looks incredibly similar. The same, they even reused the name. Like they literally used the same freaking name in it, I think. Or did they? Now I can't remember. I can't remember, but they did use the, have the school there and it, it looks incredibly similar. Um, but yeah, there's part of it is the exercise because I do need more exercise. Part of it is transport because it kind of gets boring to always walk everywhere. I don't mind walking. I really don't, but it kind of gets boring to always walk. Um, obviously, I can drive, but I don't really like to all the time. I honestly don't. Because with the car, like I said, I have the inconvenience factor of having to park, get out, go take a photo here, take a photo there, take a photo there, and then get back in the car and do, rinse and repeat for every single place I'm taking photos of. Oops, I don't want to turn right. 
So it's kind of a redundant process where it would be easier just to be on the bike and ride right where I need to go. Like that uh, mattress firm, for example, in my Instagram store, I was able to ride right in front of, right in between of the fence and the former recycling area. It's a very narrow space where you could only walk or bike, but I was able to. And by the way, that was at one of the old uh, 7-Elevens that we just drove by on the left. Uh, you could see that it was painted gray now. I guess there's something called Brent's Restaurant opening there, but I don't know if that's the actual name. It's just what they refer to it in the uh, Cheyenne uh, business website. What is it? It has all the permits and junk in it, so. So yeah, that is South Greeley Highway. We just passed, we're coming up on Sweetgrass area. So Sweetgrass is a new uh, upcoming residential development, but they do plan on putting a whole bunch of retail in here. Uh, I forget the name of the bank that's going in here, but they're, it's the same bank that is financing for some of it. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, they are, gonna, as Standby News pointed out, they're supposed to put a King Supers in here eventually. Uh, I knew it was going to be a supermarket. Had no idea it was going to be King Supers. He went out and found that out. Um, I need to slow down because it's 30 miles an hour right here. Um, let's see. You can see the bank on the right, maybe. And you can definitely see the community building they're building for Sweetgrass. Uh, got Laramie County Community College on the left. The construction you see up ahead of us is uh, a result of them building a underpass for pedestrians and bicycles. Uh, this area is definitely an area that is more pedestrian bike friendly, although it, it still needs to be a little bit more in my opinion, but it's getting there. Oops, we're not turning right. Um, let's see, there's no one behind us, so I'm gonna do a little thingy here and pull this off. So you can see the bank right there that they're building. I see you. <laughs> uh, well, as long as uh, I, I ask that you don't. Oh, frankity. I hope I'm okay. Am I okay? I hope I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I accidentally dropped my phone when he said that. <laughs> God damn it. Stand by news. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, you know what? You guys already have seen the car because of the reflection now, so frick, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you got me messed up, bro. You, you really got me messed up. <laughs> oh, God. So the New King Supers is going to be closer to where College Drive switches between North College Drive and West College Drive. Uh, I'll kind of show that area in a minute. I don't know the exact position yet. Um, I do, but I don't. I know because there is a plan on the Sweetgrass Community's website uh, that shows the entire layout of the whole area. And you can see where the future store is going to be. Um, I don't remember exactly. It's in one of those areas between College Drive and where we're at now. Uh, so this is all like all residential. I'm going to go over to that new area that they're starting to build further out south of here. So this was all built over the last two years or so. And there's a new area that they just started this year. It's insane how much they've gotten built here. It's insane to think that this was all just fields grassy fields at one time and now it's what it is now and i think i got to turn left if i remember right this is a dead end up here see this is another thing these guys this uh community that we're in right now they have all sorts of little regional trail things for bikes and pedestrians to use and if i was on my bike i could just cut right through on the trails uh, but because we're in a car we got to drive all the way around I'm not complaining about that. Bikes and pedestrians need the trails. They should be allowed to have the shortcuts. I mean, it takes, if, if you don't have the shortcuts, you're gonna be more inclined to drive a car for only going around the block instead of taking the cutaway that could have existed, you know? 
So it's like, I'm not against having the car bikes and pedestrians have the sidewalk, but what I am annoyed about is that we do got to drive all the way around this. Like, you know, I could cut through a lot easier. So right up here is a new section of the area that I'm talking about. They've already started building houses and they are definitely getting close to having some of these completed and ready to be lived in. And it is actually snowing just a little bit right now. So this is Blue Norther. It's not Northern, it's Blue Norther Lane. Blue Norther, not Northern. <laughs> There's no N on the end of that. <laughs> so you can see all, some of the houses that they've already started building. Hopefully I don't run over a nail here. <sighs> uh, but yeah, you can see all the new houses they're building over here, which is crazy, crazy. Um, a lot of this is going to be housing, but there is, of course, all the uh, uh, retail that I'm talking about between here and uh, co college that's supposed to be built. So that roundabout that we passed through on the way in here, uh, it's going to be all that area near those roundabouts that ends up being occupied by retail and stuff like that. I think there's supposed to be a new event center. Uh, so that will be the second one, I guess, technically in Cheyenne, because we got the one that used to be Taco John's Event Center out south, right? Or out north of here. Uh, we passed by it earlier by the Hitching Post Inn. So if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to kind of try to pull off onto this little ramp thing here. I can't go very far, but I should be able to at least pull off to the side. I have to reverse to get out of there. So this area right over here ahead of us, I can't go any farther because this is where the pavement ends. If I'm not mistaken, this is the area where that King Supers is supposed to be built. Uh, do, do not quote me. Please go check out the Sweetgrass Community's website and dig up their uh, pod plan or whatever they call it. Uh, I don't know what they call it. They have a name for it. It's, it's somewhere on their website. They have a plan of this whole area and you'll see College Drive is eventually supposed to be turned into two separate roads instead of curving like it is right now that you'll see in a minute how it is. Um, got to watch behind me now and reverse. It's eventually going to be two different roads where West College Drive actually continues out east and Northern, North College Drive basically ends at West College Drive and turns into another road. Okay. So, and if I'm not mistaken as well, the event center that I was mentioning is supposed to be over here in this area, straight up ahead of us. Uh, you can see one of the new community buildings that they built there. We'll go ahead and do a whole UE around this. Uh roundabout yeah that what was it? i think it was sunday no it would have been sooner than that it must have been saturday i came out this way or maybe it was no it was sooner than that even i think it was friday uh, last friday i came out this way and i decided for the fun of it to ride through the freaking construction because it's 20 mile an hour speed limits for the car so that's nothing for bicyclists you know like an average person biking probably is not going to be able to hit 20 miles an hour, but even in a car, you're not going to be able to hit 20 miles an hour here uh, because of the way the road is. And I don't know why they got a 40 mile an hour speed limit sign not covered up there. They should have that covered up. Because you can't do 40 miles an hour through here. You're going to screw up your car. <laughs> yeah, right through here with almost no traffic when I did and also 20 mile an hour speeds was easy like I definitely was not riding faster than I'm going right now and I'm going maybe 17 miles an hour like this is easy we're going to do a little Yui thing here in a minute because I want to go back the other way but, but I wanted to show that off because that's where they're going to put in that bike bridge uh, there's a video on YouTube, actually, of them installing it. I forget what the channel name is. Um, I wish I had the link saved somewhere. But, yeah. Gosh darn it. Stand by news, though. I tell you what. I'm going to roll up on you on one of your night streams. He, he, I know you can't do them right now, but one of these times, I'm going to have my lights all installed on my bike, ready to go for a nice night ride. I'm going to come up and sneak up on you in a freaking live stream that you do. 
That's what you get for trying to get a shot of me. I don't care, though. I'm teasing. <laughs> it would be fun to do that, though. Mm. Oh, golly. Uh, we'll go back through the other way on this construction area, and I'll reach out when we get to the stop sign for a second. Oh, man. <laughs> See, it's 20 mile an hour signs here. I don't know why they didn't cover up that 40 mile an hour sign back there. I don't care, still my news. I mean, I, I'd prefer not to have the whole wide world know what car I drive, but you know, I guess you could figure it out because it accidentally did appear in the stream. Like if you, honestly, if we're being real, every car has a little bit different style of interior. So you could, if you know your car interiors well enough, you know, like I'm not saying to go do it, but. <laughs> You could figure out what someone's driving if you really, really wanted to, almost certainly, couldn't you? At least the brand and maybe even a little bit deeper than that. I don't know how many other cars use the style of car that, style of interior that this car does. But. All right, we're gonna go back up this way. Oof. And then it's 50 miles an hour. It's fun to do that. That's the only time you're ever gonna get ride a bike on that part of College Drive until they do some kind of bike lanes. They are supposed to do some kind of buffered bike lanes eventually here on College Drive, but again, that might be 10 years from now. Uh, it's, it's part of the. It's one of the recommendations on the map, but it's hard saying when they'll actually get to it. It's 50 miles an hour here. This car is small, smaller. Like it's not good to take it on the interstate. It's old, worn out, and small. It's narrow, so it, it bounces around a lot easier than a wider car would. Which in town, that's not too big of a deal. You're usually not gonna be going over 40 miles an hour, but like even on a road like this with 50 mile an hour, it can be a little bit sketchy at times. There's been times getting on the interstate in the past uh, up here for I-80 where going over the bumps, it really rattles the heck out of it. it. Almost feels like you might lose control. So it's just not a good idea to take it on the interstate whatsoever. Let's see, there's not too much new things that going on over here. Got a Coca-Cola distribution thing over here on the right. At least they display the Coca-Cola signage. Um, here's Fox Farm Road. coming up on I-80. I don't think I've done a walking live stream on this bit of road. I've walked along this bit of road before. I'd rather walk on this bit than uh, the bit over by Arby's that we saw earlier, but I mean, it's still, people are going 50 mile an hour, 60 mile an hour through here because it's designed to be a highway, so. Okay, we're going to turn right on Camp Stool Road. Fun fact, a semi-truck hit the arm of this stoplight here before, so they had to fully replace it. For a while, there was no overhead arm, and people were running the red light because they just couldn't see this light very well. You, didn't ex you don't usually expect on a highway to have only a light on the right and left of the road and not overhead. Like there was even a time where I almost ran the red light because I thought that it, it was gone again. Like I, I didn't even think anything of it. It's like a stop sign almost, right? It's a misleading when that wasn't there. So they did get that taken care of, which is good. I of course did stop, but I almost would have ran it if I wasn't, if I didn't remember that that thing was <laughs> messed up. I have been there enough to know that that's usually a stoplight. <laughs> I think I got a photo of it too. I don't have it with me, but I think I do have a photo of it missing. 
I actually drove by here the day that they were repairing it, I think. And I, there are photos on one of the news websites as well that shows it. So there is that. So here is Livingston Avenue. This is Cheyenne's second Walmart. Uh, I personally dislike this Walmart a lot more than the other one. In my experience, the service at this one has been much crummier than the other one. Uh, and plus, I literally had employees hunt me down during a Instagram live stream just because I had my phone in my hands. <laughs> uh, story for another day. I think I've told it a little bit before, and I think I might actually still have the Instagram live where I did that. I was bored. I didn't know what else to do one day, so I like I think it's 2020. So I just decided, you know what? Let's do a live stream. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this car because I gotta get over. And then, you know, I, I went to the food section a little bit and then I was going around to the toy area. I was eventually going to get to something where I was probably going to buy something. And then the employees were like having a freak out just because I had my phone in my hands somewhat like you would have a camera. Like, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> I decided to just not make it overly complicated and leave, but like, it's like, bro. What the hell? Like, I, I was a potential customer, and then you're getting mad at me. Like, I real, in 2020, I really tried to give Walmart benefit of the doubt. I, I did try to give them benefit of the doubt and doing photos and stuff, and they just weren't having it. About half the stores I went to had a freak out just because I had my phone out. <laughs> it's like, bro. <laughs> All right, so the bike path starts right here. I don't know how well you can see it. It's on the left side of the road. Uh, we're going to kick up to 55 miles an hour with... I'm not gonna do 55, thank you very much. Uh, but you can see the bike path going all the way through here. You can see the stop signs. Uh, it is part of what was planned, but they haven't connected up anywhere, so you can't really use it unless you ride along Camp Stoll Road, which I did one time. I dealt with it because I wanted to go on the tra on, one, on the Burlington Trail uh, for one of my rides, uh, just to see how it was, and it was actually a pretty decent trail. I wish they'd turn it into a bike boulevard. Um, Let's see, where do I want to turn? Where do I want to turn? I think it's up here a little bit farther still. Let's see. Yep, they got a good chunk of it, more than what was there in Google Maps Street View, wow. It's just still going right here. Wow. Well, I don't know. This might be in Google Street View. I forget. It's been a minute since I've looked at it, but I want to ride on this really bad. I think I'm going to have to make a ride out here sometime. I think it's up here where that new data center is that I was talking about earlier in the stream, one of them. It's not, this one is not entirely Microsoft. It's primarily something else. Uh, but I guess Microsoft is going to use part of it. And people are passing me because it's 55 on here. I'm, I'm doing 50. They're more than welcome to. <laughs> Decided against it because of the car coming. <laughs> All right, go ahead, person. And kind of stand on the right for you. Oh, wait, there's another person. Is it here where I want to turn? No, it's not. Wind is blowing me around. And now you can't pass. Haha. -ha. Actually drops down to 35. Guess I might have wanted to turn. I don't know. We'll turn at the light. The light will work. Wyoming Machine Company, company CAT. C-A-T. I forget, I don't know what those initials stand for. So we got the Lowe's Distribution Center over here on the uh, left. 
just beyond uh, Christensen Road and Campstool Road. Uh, Christensen didn't used to go over the interstate, but now it does, and there is an exit there, so another way to get into Cheyenne. Uh, there is a decently wide uh, bike path sort of thing there now, so riding over that isn't too bad. I did that when I was going out to the Burlington Trail. I didn't care for riding down Pershing too much because there's not a lot of space for bikes there, but going over this bridge was actually fairly comfortable. I won't complain. I'll take a left on this next road, and then I'll catch up on chat. I don't know what the speed limit is here. I think it's 35. It's 35 going in the other direction, so I'm assuming it's 35. Um, I think we can get in here a little bit. We'll wait for this RAV to go. There we go. I'm too familiar with cars. I know what so many different car names are. Alright, so we're going to kind of just pull over on the right here. So you can see the road is closed for going this way. There's a lot of dust. But this is that new data center. I think it's called a CYS Data Center, if I remember right. Don't quote me. Going on my first Carnival Cruise. He sent me a video. Oh, golly. Sweetgrass houses are from 418000 to 491000 Wow. <laughs> wow, that's expensive. Yeah, sure. All prices are going up everywhere, man. It's insane. Just look for the cracked windshield. <laughs> Uh, it's okay, stand by news. I'm I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> yeah, I'd love. Yeah, maybe sometime we could do some kind of meetup thing. I do wonder how many people would do a meetup. It's become pretty clear that off of the web, I'm actually kind of semi -po uh, popular. <laughs> Cheyenne. There's so many people that know of me. Like, there's even realtors that know of me, and I actually interacted with one of them kind of by accident one time. <laughs> it was a good time. Maybe sometime we could do something like that. Um, but Joshua says, going on my first carnival cruise out of Galveston, Texas in April. That should be fun. Right before Easter. That's not too bad. I know a lot of places are doing their Easter sell now. Um, I think there's one other thing I want to show off. Or maybe two more. Yeah, there's two more things I want to show off. So we're going to do a little Yui thingy. Man, fill that wind, man. There's a lot of car. To be fair, there's a lot of cars with a cracked windshield. Although this one happens to be cracked across. One of the vehicles we used to have a very long time ago when I was a kid, it also had a crack very similar to this. It had a crack very, very, very similar to this. All right, so we got the Christensen Bridge. So I don't think the exit isn't right here, but there is a Christensen slash Camp Stoll Road exit somewhere over here. Or is it? Maybe it is over here. Oh wait, it was behind of us. Never mind. I'm I'm right. I got myself turned around. So this bridge goes over the railroad, and then there's another bridge behind us that connects up with Camp Stool. Right, connects up with Camp Stool and the uh, uh, I twenty I eighty. Sorry. And then there's this new bridge that connects up over to Pershing. So I apologize for the uh, misinformation there initially that I said earlier. But there is the bike bike path. Well, mixed east trail, I'd more or less call it. It's a pretty dang wide sidewalk, so it's meant for bikes and pedestrians and everyone. Uh, riding over this, not too bad. I think the hill could be a little less steep, but if you got a geared bike like I do with reasonably low gears, then you should be perfectly fine. I mean, I was getting up at just fine on my second gear and second gear, so that would be technically fourth gear uh, on my bike, so yeah. So we're going to start by going straight uh, over to US 30, is it called? It's part of Lincoln Way, technically. And then we're going to go back up to the Cheyenne Plaza. I think we'll probably call it good around there. So we got 45 on this bit of road. They do got the bike path thing continuing on this road which is good. I find it interesting that Google Maps car didn't go on this road. Like they literally went by it in the latest street view, but they didn't go on it. I don't know why. Maybe they thought nothing was here, but 
in a way, I guess that's true, but it's still like, bro. And man, the wind is terrible here. It's rocking this car like crazy. <clears throat> Yep, US 30, I was right. It's part of Lincoln Way. Where are we at for time? A little bit over two hours. Not bad, not bad. I think it's 55 on this bit. Uh, right here it intersects with Bell Range Boulevard. They are supposed to be changing this intersection in the future, I believe, but obviously they haven't done anything yet with it. It's kind of a weird intersection because of the way Del Range curves over. It's crazy to think that a very long time ago, this is the highway that you have taken to get into Cheyenne. You wouldn't have gone on I-80. You would have used this road. A very long time ago, this shifted over to Nation Way. Uh, in some format. I don't think it connected directly to Nationway, but Nationway was designed like a highway as well, so there is that. There is an overhead satellite image of the area on the Wyoming Photo Archives that shows what I'm talking about. Uh, if you search Ridge Road in the search engine, you can probably be able to find it. Ridge Road, I think, was kind of the main emphasis, but there was also Lincoln Way slash US 30, and it was just a mess how they had it set up. So they had to redo it, and the plan for how they were, well, I guess maybe not the plan for how they were going to redo it, but what it looked like before they planned on redoing the way it is now for Rich Road connecting up to US 30 and Nation Way is quite a bit different than it was back then. I mean, it's crazy. There was a time when that whole thing of I-80 was never there. You used old Happy Jack Road and, uh, of course, this road that we're on now to get to where you needed to go. So over here on the right is a U-Haul and a new Sinclair that's coming soon, as well as some kind of pet hospital. Uh, they are. This is another residential area they're expanding on a lot. It definitely is more car-centric than some of the others in town because of quite a bit of a lack of bicycle connections, but they do have at least the bike path passing through it a little bit and a bike path going around the outer edge of it. So it's not like there's no bike infrastructure, but I think it could use a little more in my opinion. Um, so yeah, here's the new U-Haul. This is a huge storage facility. Up to this point, we have not had a storage facility here. Uh, we've only had the areas that ha are focused on selling or selling, renting out trailers and trucks and that stuff. Uh, the blue building that right here on the left uh, is the hospital. And then if we take a little right here, we got the uh, soon-to-be Sinclair gas station. Uh, they've been building this for the last few months. I don't know why they haven't finished getting it ready to go. And I don't know. I want to drive through this. I don't like driving through this at all. This part's not close, so I guess we'll go through here and do a little Yui. So yeah, they are not open yet, but it is going to be a Sinclair. Oops, wrong knob. Here we go. So there's a look at the Sinclair over this way. I have no idea how the quality is out here, so it might be crapping out, and if it is, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going... Okay, I read that comment already. Yeah got Bish's RV over here. I didn't realize they already had a location over here, so I do wonder if they're relocating out to college or if they're just expanding out to college. Uh, that area out off of I-25 that we were at earlier is what I'm talking about. All right, and then we're going to go over to the Cheyenne Plaza because there is the new Sears that opened up in there, the new Sears hometown, and I think that's about it that's opened over there. And then we'll wrap up. All right, here is Whitney Road. I'm gonna take a left here. We do got the greenway here, of course. Like I said, it goes around the outer edge of this and it does go through here a little bit. I just think they're 
really could be a little bit more connections, even if it's just regional connections in here. Got to keep in mind too, I guess, that a lot of this was built like five or six years ago, what you see. So it's like some of this is like, you know, it's before there's a, any kind of major plan for 2045 connecting Cheyenne. <laughs> I do find it very interesting how the presentation that's on the Cheyenne planning website for the, all the greenways and stuff still takes a very car centric perspective, but still has a lot more emphasis on bike and pedestrian infrastructure than does say Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, who was it? City Nerd, I think did a video about that where out in Las Vegas where there's really no uh, current plan for any new bi bike or pedestrian infrastructure. Like they still have emphasis more on doing cars well into the future, which is kind of interesting, especially considering that they do have a quite a few pedestrian overpasses and stuff out there, like a lot more than Cheyenne does, that's for sure. It's getting a little bit later, so I guess I should switch the lights on. I think we're still a good two hours before sunset. Sun doesn't go down to like three or 7.20 now, 7.25 p.m. So don't technically need them on yet, but it is getting into that time of day. Oh yeah, we got the new Dollar General up here coming up. This is Cheyenne's second Dollar General and the fourth one in the state of Wyoming. Uh, You'll see it here shortly. It's up here on the right, a little bit beyond Pershing Boulevard. Once again, we're on US 30. Right now we're headed uh, uh, southwest. This is another intersection that sometime needs to be redone better. There's so many crashes that happen at the stoplight all the time. I don't know how they would redo it better, but it definitely needs redone better because this is just, it's not safe and I actually do need to slow down. There we go. Near good oh. Near good oh. Right lane ends. All right, here you go. So you got Dollar General on the right. It's probably going to be crappy video, but you can see the general design of the building. I think I put photos on Instagram, maybe. I definitely did a video about, or a video, a, a Newsbreak article about this place opening around the time it opened. So you can find it on news, my, the, on the Optopolis Newsbreak page. <clears throat> All right, coming back up onto North College Drive. I, I should clarify that I think it's South College Drive beyond I-25. I think it switches to South College Drive. So South College Drive would eventually end at West College Drive. Anyway, sorry, that was a little off topic, but something to think about. I think it might actually be East College Drive, isn't it? Because uh, I think at South Greeley Highway switches to East, right? I think? I forget now, man. <laughs> I find it amusing how even though I've lived here all my life, I still get little details just mixed up for one reason or another. I find it amusing how that happens. Golly. All right, we're turning into the plaza. So we got Murdoch's over here. And they expanded into the former Verizon authorized retailer that moved to the Pershing Marketplace. Uh, they did finish the renovation of that section of the building. Um, Smoker Friendly took over the Eiling's Cookies and as well as their original space. So they expanded their store. I think Parkway Pizza recently did a remodel on the inside of their store. I know you guys can't see those right now, but those are all places over here. Sportsman's Warehouse, that used to be in Albertsons. Uh, from my understanding, the Big Lots was kind of the pharmacy slash Skaggs thing with Albertsons, but I don't know for certain, so don't quote me. Um, let's see, we're going to kind of cut through the parking lot. And over here we got the Sears. So from my understanding, this used to be a Staples. Uh, this whole section, the whole section over here, you'll see it in a minute. So this whole part where you see the, this facade, right? You got Sears and Absolute Flooring. 
Uh, from my understanding, this used to be a Staples. Uh, it got split into two sections. I don't know what was at Sears before the Walmart Recruitment Center, and I don't know what was in the Absolute Flooring before Absolute Flooring. Um, but you can definitely see the signage there. And let me pull this off. East College Drive is next to South Greeley Highway. Okay, so I was right. Hey there, CSM Urbex, how are you doing? So yeah, there you go. You can see the, you can own this hometown store. Yep, they opened the, the start of this year. It's still currently a franchise store, but they are selling it for, they're looking for someone to own it and run it. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if that someone buys it or if they end up closing it. I know there was one out in South Dakota. It's in uh, Dalmatian uh, Productions area. Um, there is a Sears hometown out there that opened like last year and it closed actually pretty recently. I don't know why. I assume it might have had something to do with not being able to get an owner. Maybe it was just not enough traffic who knows i do find it interesting that sears is kind of trying to make a comeback in the terms of a hometown design in those hometown stores it's a franchise um i don't know if it will be or will be able to do that or not but all right we'll go ahead and take a left um yeah i think that's about it i think we covered the majority of the retail stuff didn't we i don't think there's too much i didn't cover i don't think so gonna kind of come over here the uh family dollar is still vacant so yeah there's not been much change in this plaza other than that sears i'm gonna kind of just idle over here and then i'll see about getting things wrapped up with us okay do a slant park thing there you go there's a good look of the family dollar all right where are we at I did not know Sears was over there. Yeah, yep. Uh, actually, I think KJAB, KGAB, KJAB. I think they were the first one to report on it. Uh, the person, one of the people who posts articles on there, actually got over here the day they were putting up the signage for it, and I think it was about a couple weeks after that that it finally opened. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy that they actually opened here. I never would have expected them to open a Sears t hometown store in my city. Like, I thought it was maybe possible, but I never expected it, man. I never expected it. Oh, man. Oh, that was an interesting stream. Got the Sherry's restaurant over there, a bus leaving. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll rotate this around. Well, hopefully the stream was decent. Hopefully it wasn't too laggy for you guys. I noticed when I'm driving upon test streams I did earlier this year that it doesn't lag as much But well, when I'm driving, but I don't know. I'll have to watch it back and do the timestamps and all that. Unfortunately, if it is laggy, I can't fix that. So, yeah. The new hotel that is going over by Walter Shield is at West Fox Farm. Gotcha. Gotcha, I think. There's a new hotel that is going over by Walter Shield. Walter Sheed and Fox Farm. Yep, that is true. That is true. Yep. I forget what it's going to be called. I forget. I actually do forget. <laughs> uh, interesting design on it, though, I will say. It has an interesting design aspect to the building. Anyway, a video will be coming tomorrow for Barnes & Noble. It was the closing day, the first day of their closing slash moving cell that I did on Thursday. Uh, like I said, I will see about doing some kind of last day update uh, when that day does roll around it's probably going to be may 15th um, and then once they do get in the mall hopefully i'll be able to do an update video there and hopefully when they get that new space uh, for permanent use i'll be able to do that too unless they end up staying in the mall of course so we'll see we'll get it all figured out they'll get it figured out too um yeah i think i'm gonna leave it at that um, might see about trying to do some kind of biking thing. It's just that I got to figure out the setup for streams. If I'm going to do that, it's a lot harder with the phone. Cause you don't got much in the way of mounts for streaming from a phone. You got plenty of mounts to use your phone. Like you'll hold your phone, but you don't got a mount to actually like live stream in this horizontal mode. Like you got to go vertical if you want to do it. So it's, it's kind of annoying, but yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. Appreciate everyone for stopping by.
Timestamps will should be up and maybe tomorrow morning. I got to finish the Barnes and Noble video tonight. Got to get the last little bit finished up and go from there. Yeah. See you guys soon. Excuse me. I burped. See you guys soon. And peace out. Uh.